Hello, my name is Professor Claudio, and I am PhD in theoretical physics. I've been a professor for most of my life, and I have social subjects in astronomy, and black holes, and other dark matters. Um, let's just say I've used a lot of numerical methods during my work. However, as a person who is addicted to numbers, I could not help but to see some numerical patterns throughout the, throughout the pandemics. So I ended up giving physics a uh, paid vacation and studied some of these patterns I've seen. As a matter of fact, some really interesting results were given by the numbers I researched and I think it's very much worth sharing them. I made this video to suggest a specific exponential numerical model to better understand statistically the growth for COVID initial numbers in different regions of the planet. So if you want to know more about this numerical analysis, um, don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell icon to get notified case I have new videos and new numbers to show. So, I published those data before in other videos in YouTube, so you may find us familiar. Um, I would like to show you uh, tomorrow here that this is the logistic equation curve. Is This is the solution of the, the logistic differential equation which gives these curves, those points here represent the number of cases that are related here uh, in case of COVID. So uh, I will model this, those numbers to uh, try to find the equation for this initial increasing of the curve, which is related to be exponential so I will be using this model here. This equation, uh, this equation Y is the number of cases. Uh, the B represents the constant uh, for the exponential increase. T is the time and A is a constant for this equation. So in numerical feet, we will find the number A and the number B. B is a center number in this video. B will represent the increase of the occurring case. So if B is a big number here, it will represent a very rapid increasing of the number of cases. And if the B is a low number, so it's not so big number, it's, it will represent a low case, uh, low increasing of the case. Um, so let me explain so uh, how those numbers are uh, recorded. Uh, the World Health Organization will record those numbers from the uh, 100 recorded infection. So when you have 100 people infected, you will have the statistics starting for the World Health Organization. And after this, we can uh, study this curve here. After this modeling, I have this B, is the number uh, that express the growth. So I will multiply B to 1,000 and obtain this number phi. This number will uh, give us some, uh, some explanation about the growth of the case that are occurring in each country or each region we are studying. Now I'm going to, uh, to, to study some results uh, compared to Brazil because my, it's my homeland, so I, I use it to study some cases in Brazil. So in the first week I studied the cases in Brazil. Uh, I had Brazil with six days of reporting and China and Italy, I could use this number 26. I was using this number of reportings, 26 of the hundreds 
cases uh, reported by each country. So those uh, records, the days recorded for China here were 26, the days recorded here for Italy were 26, and for Brazil in this first week, this, the numbers are recording were six. So these numbers express the growth in each country. Uh, so China 224, Italy 214, and Brazil 318. In the second week in Brazil, China and Italy has the same numbers. Uh, Brazil, uh, after 13 days, we have uh, 261. So we could see here in Brazil that the number decreases. It represents that the, the action of the government and action of states and action of people resulted in the, the in the third week, I studied Brazil, uh, we had 21 days, and China and Italy, we have, we should have here the same number, but something uh, happened in the data bank, they had modified some numbers, and the numbers uh, are represented here after the, that modification. But sometimes people use to correct data banks. It's usual when you have some, some of the data uh, different from the reality. So we here had those decreasing for China and Italy. I repeat, should be the same, but with the modification of data in the data bank. And Brazil has number 194 after 21 days of report. Okay, so let's see some results for different countries here. We have here China with 219, the same values they had in the last slide. Italy and Brazil having the same results in the last slide. So now here we have uh, another countries that have been have been talking about in the media here in Brazil. Uh, and uh, we have so Spain, 253, USA is the number 284 in the United Kingdom here, 207. Okay, so in this uh, table we have an interesting number for Italy and UK because the number is the same for them and with the same number of days. So. The history for both countries uh, is expected to be the same if nothing is done differently in UK. So they should expect the same occurrences that we we could see in Italy. And now uh, we are going to see the exponential contamination index, the phi, uh, for different countries, but different records day. So everybody here is reported to the April 9th, 2020. Uh, so for example, China here has 81 records and Brazil has 25 records. So the name, the number of records here is different, but we can see uh, the numbers uh, for everybody here uh, showing different histories for them. USA, you see the number for USA is 238. Um, for Russia is 194. Spain 193. Canada, uh, United Kingdom, Germany. So you have uh, very big numbers in this case, even for Brazil, France. Uh, so if this number is big, is the exponential contamination index, the phi, is a big number, so it express greater increasing of the growth of the case. Okay, for this exponential contamination index, phi, we should look at the lower lines of this image. Finland, Greece, Japan, and Uruguay. We have to probably analyze those numbers because uh, this indicates that the increasing 
is going very slowly. The number of notified cases is increasing fast here. Many things can be going on. Different viral genetics or management of these countries, I don't know. They have really small epidemics. They are in cooperation uh, with the other countries. So now, well, we should see about other reported issue in this case. Uh, I'm quite sure here in Brazil we have a scenario in which the number of cases is heavily underreported because many people just don't go to the hospital for what they may see as nothing but uh, sniffles. And in Brazil we have this number here. Uh, 177, but I believe it should be greater. We may also see other reporting due to lack of research for testing suspect case or because of logistical difficulties on the country's territory that makes the access to health resources harder. However, it seems like the number of deaths does but follow a pattern very similar to what the numbers in my study predicts. Probably because a person who died because of COVID-19 is certain to have this diagnosis reported, unlike those who are just suspect cases, this category number can be easily unreported. Okay, also Ecuador, with the number one to seven, is an important case to look at because the, these numbers were already able to generate a huge health crisis in some regions there. I would like to apologize for the difficulties to obtain this video since we are in quarantine too but I have had help from my family. My son is my movie director, and my daughter is my camera girl, and my wife, she's my promoter. And in the next video, I will compar compare uh, different continents. And so if you are going to expect this next video, so subscribe to this channel and hit the bell. Thank you.